Let's review what Matthew said about game mechanics, the kinds of things that they need to build into their games to make them good. He mentioned that they need to build in goals, motivations, rewards, and assessment. The goals, and what he said mostly about the goals was, make them realish, make them close to the kinds of goals that people would have in real life in this sort of situation, and definitely always show people's progress against the goals because that's what, that's what um, gets them to the goals. When they see that they're moving toward the goal, they're seeing they're moving away from the goal. In motivations, he talked about motivations for the teacher, motivations for the person who's going to buy his product, basically, and they're really the practical concerns of, you know, does it, does it fit into my curriculum? Is it going to take too much time to do? Is it, is it, um, is, are the goals inside the simulation the same goals in my class, et cetera, et cetera? Very practical concerns for the teacher. But for the students, what he says motivates the students to want the, to want to use it is that um, it's personalized. It's all about them. It's not a generalized thing like you might read in a textbook. It's all about them. It's direct. When they take an action, the system, the learning system, tells them exactly what the results are. It's emotionally engaging. You sort of suffer when you do something wrong, right? If you hire the wrong kind of person, they quit. You know, and you, and you can kind of sort of feel emotionally how you might feel in real life. And finally, it's just in time. When you need to learn something, it's because you need to do something right that moment. And so the information about what you need to do is right there at the moment you need, in or, you need it in order to do what you need to do. Okay, so that's the motivations. Rewards. There's little ones like badges and points. He makes, a, he makes the good point about those badges being or potentially being overused, and so they have to be used um, uh, parsimoniously to make sure that they're always, um, to, to make sure that they're, uh, they're being used in a way that doesn't kind of defeat the purpose, like it's too easy to get a badge. Um, key progress indicators, so showing specifics about what their behavior is, um, their progress against the goal, but also key progress indicators, like for example in his business game, how stressed out you are is a, is a progress indicator, so you have to keep your indicator within certain levels, giving you sort of like a dashboard. And you can see from some of the pictures that I showed you of his application that it is very much like a dashboard. We talked about dashboards before, like UIs being dashboards, putting all the information in front of you that you need to know in order to make decisions. Um, actually, we didn't talk about that. We talked about it in back-end data that when we do data warehousing, one of the things that we want to have is a dashboard. What's going on right now on my site? This is the same idea of a dashboard. What's going on right now in my learning? Okay, and then obviously the final reward is the grade, the final, the final evaluation that you get on your progress. Did you make enough progress? And hopefully that is very apparent to both. I mean, it's not something that comes as, as a surprise at the end of the course like it is in many college classes, but instead you always know what's going on. Then the final thing he talked about was assessment, and that assessment is important to happen in real time, very close to the point at which you made a decision, you're assessed on it so that you see immediate impacts, and then the ability to go back and fix it and try to get a, a better assessment in real time. And then finally, he mentioned the idea of this full experience, and that that's really part of the assessment as well, is that you're able to... Um, you're able to experience a lot, a lot of stuff. You're able to get years and years of experience in a small amount of time by focusing in on the big pieces and by getting feedback immediately about how you're doing against those very large goals as well as against the smaller progress indicators.